So these are the luggage lockers. Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. 12, 13, 16, 17. This should be 18 and 19. And no, it's only 19. This is line 18. This is 03. Alrighty. Like he moved. Whew. I think I can go for 17 more minutes, so that should be one more scene. What's in the box? So we got a uh, cell phone. Know that origami figures, a game pack, a battery pack, and a gun. Let's look at a gun. What about the origami figure? Figure. Yeah. Let's unravel this one. It has a number one on it, so it must be the first one of uh, the many. Ooh. Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Yes, I am. Let's go. Oh, Help. that's Jason. Dad. Sean. I mean, not Jason. Where Sean. Are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. Uh -huh. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters, and the letters. Pro reveal an address. All right, let's go get our first trial done. I'm gonna put this under the bed.
What the hell is a new bonus? <sighs> okay. If the killer is white, will. age between 30 and 45, he doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims, that's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts, to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Hmm. It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. That is harsh. Now we know why the game is called Heavy Rain! If y'all would like to give me a minute to go get me a drink, that would be great. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. 
Holy we Bible. Him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Oh god. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Lots of medications. Not very sure what I'm looking for. More medication. Oh god, we're not getting anywhere. Nothing here. Oh, that's just the one that goes outside. I saw that racket. Dude, I was trying to go the other way. So I could. Okay. No, it won't let me have another peek. Uh, I think I've already looked at everything except for over here. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Ah, I never even thought about that. Can I get out of here? I mean, damn, we, we know he's going to be back soon, so. Of course, it makes me go in this room again. Ah. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. There he comes back. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God <clears throat> shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Uh, Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? Uh, I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders That's you enough. to go and find Leave new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. All right, dude. This guy is being a real bitch. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Carter, I told you to go shit. and find that Are kid you in the park. Your mind? The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Dude, he won't stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them, to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Dude. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall watch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. For Christ's sakes. Shoot! Uh, 